Let's pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, we glorify you, Lord, because you put a smile on every face. You put joy in every heart. And you bring celebration and jubilee, liberty into every life. Lord, we glorify you and set our praises in Jesus' name. And Lord, today, as we come to this final concluding session, a climax. Lord, I pray everything that may be missing from every life, supply it in Jesus' name. That nobody here, boy, girl, brother, sister, father, mother, daddy, mommy, nobody here will go back home empty-handed in Jesus' name. I will carry a load of blessings out of here. And this blessing will not be wasted. And this blessing will not be lost. And you will go back home with us. And every day of our lives will be a day of joy, celebration, happiness, gladness. In Jesus' name. Bless everyone today. And be a friend, a partner, a director, controller, supporter. All the days of our lives. And we'll get to the very top in Jesus' name. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said... Thank you very much. We're sitting down now. Except me, I have to stand up. You keep on sitting while I stand. We're looking at the message today on partnership. Everybody say partnership. Partnership to make your dream come true. Make your dream come true. By the way, that thing we call dream actually means ambition. Actually means a goal. Actually means a destination. Actually means the achievement. Actually means the expectation. What you expect to have. What you expect to be. Where you expect to be. If you don't have the expectation, there will be no manifestation. Because it is expectation that produces manifestation. That means then you must have a dream, a goal, a destiny, a destination, an ambition, an achievement, something you're looking forward to, an expectation. And for you to be able to have a real fulfillment of a great dream, of a big dream, you need a partner. And that's why we're talking about partnership. To make your dream come true. Everyone needs that. Who has a big dream. For those who have little dreams. And all they want is wake up in the morning. Eat breakfast, lunch and dinner. And sleep. And wake up again. Eat and sleep. If that's all you, that's not a dream. Those people don't have any dream. Those people may go through life and they say, Well, what do I need partnership for? But the people that have a big dream, a great dream, and they want to climb the highest mountain in life. You need a partner. Even even adults, even daddy and mommy, if daddy has not stopped dreaming. If mommy has not stopped dreaming, even the adults need a partner that will be able to go through life with them. And then they'll be able to say, because I have a partner, a partner that is not failing, a partner that is not weak, a partner that is not blind or deaf, a partner that is not paralyzed, a partner that is looking ahead. And he's saying, come on, let's go together. We can make it together. Even the adults need that. But you, you, as young as you are, I'm telling you, you have a dream already. I said you have a dream already. 
if you don't have any dream come near me here or maybe when we finish just i'll be at the IBT see if you come near and you come bible study monday you come on sunday i'm you cannot spend a week with me a month with me you'll have a big dream i said you have a big dream because i am still dreaming myself i'm a great dreamer i'm a great dreamer i said i'm a great dreamer what dream do i have can i tell you no i won't tell you my secret you want to know my secret i have a dream of making at least at least one million years get to the top like this that's my dream that's my dream i have a dream i have a dream i have a dream that i will not allow you to remain in the valley my dream is that i'll come to you if you don't wake up i'll wake you up and then i'll hold your hand i say hey come on don't spoil my dream my dream is to make you climb the highest mountain you will reach there in jesus name and when you join your hands with mine and i pour my dream into you and you say yes sir i accept that dream i can take you to where you thought you'll never get to and i'm taking you there i'm passing the dream on to you how many of you are getting dreams this morning dream dream dreaming dreaming this morning praise the lord those hands are anointed and blessed Every exam you write with that hand, you are going to succeed. Everything you hold with that hand is going to be a blessing in Jesus' name. Don't play with that hand. Don't joke with that hand. That hand is special now. That hand is special now. That hand is anointed now. And you lay that hand on anything like this, it will turn to miracle and wonders. Praise the Lord. I'm talking on partnership to make your dream come true let me show you somebody in the bible that had a dream we're looking at we're looking at chapter 37 37 of genesis genesis chapter 37 verse 5 genesis chapter 37 verse 5 and joseph dreamed what a dream verse 9 in verse 9 and he dreamed yet another dream verse 19 and they said one to another behold this dreamer cometh they recognized him that was a dreamer they were recognized you that you have a dream how did he succeed how did the dream come true what helped him how did he make it? Look at chapter 39. In chapter 39, we're looking at verse 2. Chapter 39, verse 2. And the Lord was with Joseph. That's it. His partnership. His partnership and connection with the Almighty God. That's what made the dream to be fulfilled. And he was a prosperous man and he was in the house of his master the egyptian partnership made his dream to come true look at verse 3 in verse 3 and his master saw that the lord was with him partnership the lord be with him and he made him overseer no in verse 3 that the lord made all everybody say all all that he did to prosper in his hand look at verse 21 in verse 21 still talking about his partnership with the lord at but the lord was with joseph and showed him mercy and gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison the lord with him look at verse 23 and the keeper of the prison looked not to anything that was under his hand because the lord was with him and that and that which he did the lord made it to do what to prosper to prosper 
because of that partnership with the Lord. I'm dividing the message to how many points today now? Tell me out loud. I will not disappoint you. Just three. One, two, three. Dividing the message to three parts. Number one. The promise of the dream giver. The promise of the dream giver. He is the one that gives us a dream. And then he gives us a promise. Because he has given us a dream. The promise of the dream giver. Number two. Partnership with the dream giver. He gives it to us. Then he comes by our side and he says, I gave you the dream. I know the interpretation of the dream. I know the description of the dream. I know the path and the steps and the way to get to the achievement of the dream. Because I gave it to you. I know how to get it accomplished. Partnership with, with the dream giver. Point number three, protection by the dream giver. Protection by the dream giver. Because he has given the dream to us. And he says, that's why you were born. That's why you were saved. That's why you came into the kingdom. And I gave this dream to you. And I'm going to protect your life. And I'll protect you. And protect your dream. Until it is achieved. It will protect you. I said it will protect you. We're looking at number one. What's number one again? The promise of the dream giver. We're looking at Deuteronomy chapter 28. Deuteronomy chapter 28. The promise of the dream giver. In chapter 28, I'm reading from verse 1. Verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, and to observe, and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all the nations of the earth and all these blessings shall come on thee i didn't hear what i wanted to hear and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the lord thy god do you see here, but there's condition there. There's a condition there. If thou shalt hack him. If thou shalt hack him. That means if you will lose him. Isn't that the normal thing? Isn't that the normal thing? And isn't that's what everybody tells us? That he says, you know, anywhere you want to get to, any height you want to get to. He said, my boy, my, my girl, my daughter, my son, look at me. I will serve you. I will, I will work. I will provide the money anywhere you want to get to. If you are willing to reach. If. Here mommy says, my daughter, come on here. Whatever you want. The place I didn't get to. And the books I couldn't reach. And the certificate I couldn't have. I'm telling you. All the work I do, I'm going to make everything to get you to the place where you ought to be. If you're willing to reach, here comes the teacher. And he says, class, here you are. My time is for you. My life is for you. I am committed to this profession of teaching. And if you want to make distinction, I will teach you during class hours. I will teach you during Three hours, I will wait behind any question you have. That's my office there. Come to me. If you will come, any difficulty you have, if, if, if you will come, I will take care of you. I'll fix you all. That's what they all tell us. But what if we don't come? That's not their fault. That's our fault. But everything we get in life is based on that if. 
That's why God is saying, as for taking you to the top, God said, there's no problem. As for making you succeed, God says, there's no problem. But he says, if thou shalt hack him. He says, all these blessings, all the goodness of the Lord, all the success, everything will come to you. If you will listen, look at verse 2. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee. If thou shalt hack him. Unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Once that condition is there, everything will be all right in your life. Verse 7. The Lord shall cause thine enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. They shall come out against thee one way and flee before thee seven ways. The Lord shall command the blessing upon thee. In thy storehouses, in all that thou settest thine hand unto, and he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Are you asleep? Tell me then, give me what I'm waiting for. The Lord shall establish thee and holy people unto himself, as he has sworn unto thee. If you see that now, if you see that, if thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God and walk in his ways, and all the people of the earth shall call and shall, not, shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord, and they shall be, and they shall be, and they shall be afraid of thee and the Lord shall make thee plenteous in goods in the fruit of thy body in the fruit of thy cattle in the fruit of thy ground in the land which the Lord swear unto thy fathers to give thee the Lord shall open unto you his good treasure the heaven to give the rain unto thy land in a season and to bless, and to bless, and to bless all the work of thine hand. And thou shalt lend to many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. And the Lord shall make thee the hedge and not the tail. And thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath, if if, if thou shalt hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy God, which I command thee this day to observe and to do them. Many blessings. I said many blessings. They are coming upon you in Jesus' name. There are many passages of scripture I could reach you to show you the promise of the dream giver. Let me just give you this. Number one. Pardon through salvation. You know, when God says, he, he draws us near. He calls us his children. And the very first promise he gives us, he says, every sin you ever committed, he'll pardon you. Pardon through salvation. That's a blessing. That's a great blessing. I pray that you hold on to that and you have that. It will never leave your life in Jesus' name. Number two, purity with sanctification. Everybody say sanctification. I can't hear you. Say it like I said. Sanctification. Purity through sanctification. What a great, great blessing. That's why it says, if you were hacking to the voice of the Lord your God, when you are to the voice of the Lord your God, there's purity, there's righteousness, there's godliness, there's holiness. That holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. Purity was sanctification. Number three, the power of the Spirit. The power of the Spirit. The promise He gives us as achievers. The promise He gives us as a dream giver. He shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and Judea and Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Power, the power of the Spirit. Number four, protection from evil spirits. You are protected already. I said you are protected already. 
I give unto you power over all the power of the enemy to tread upon serpents and scorpions and nothing, everybody say nothing nothing shall by any means hurt you all these promises are given unto us protection from evil spirits they give it to us because we come to know the lord number five promotion and success promotion and success i have it already i said i have it already i said i have it already calling those things which be not as though they were you are going to get there in jesus name Number six, the possession of all sufficiency. The possession of all sufficiency. Christ is your sufficiency. I said Christ is your sufficiency. Anything you need, everything you need, now, tomorrow, next year, until you see the Lord face to face, there is provision and there is possession of all sufficiency in your life. In Jesus' name. Number seven, progress to the summit progress to the summit every day you just keep on moving on and moving on and moving on and then you'll get to the top in jesus name i need only the girls to give me an amen now i, I knew you were, i knew that you will beat the boys that's why i called your force and give it to me again now, boys, don't let me down. I need a baritone. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. My boy, there couldn't give the amen until he stands up. I appreciate that. Everybody now, a good amen. <laughs> we have it in Jesus' name. I said, we have it in Jesus' name. What's point number two? partnership with the dream giver we're looking at amos chapter 3 amos chapter 3 in amos chapter 3 we're looking at how to come into partnership with the dream giver amos 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 chapter 3 and i'm reading there from verse 3 amos chapter 3 verse 3 can two walk together except they be agreed can two walk together except they be agreed he's talking about agreement with god walking with god staying with god fellowship with god and he says i want to be in partnership with you and i want to take you from where you are to where you ought to be i want to take you from the valley down below and i want to take you to the top on the peak of the mountain but here is one thing if i'm going to take you there and we're going to go hand in hand and i'm going to be in partnership with you can two of us walk together except we agree i want you to think about this verse now hey, look at that verse can you walk together what's the spelling of that walk w a l k i'm going to give you another word here i'm going to give you another word w o r k can you work together except they be agreed i'm going to give you another word can you win together except they be agreed can you win together except they be agreed if if we don't agree how can we walk together move together if we don't agree how can we work labor together if we don't agree how can we win together it's that agreement and in hand with the almighty it's that agreement and say yes lord whatever you say that suits me right wherever you leave that is where i want to go it is that that helps us to actually succeed walking together with god staying together with god living together with god dwelling together with god walking working and 
winning. We're looking at Joshua chapter 7. Joshua chapter 7. I'm reading there from verse 11. I need to illustrate something to you here. Joshua chapter 7, verse 11. Israel have sinned. You see, they didn't agree with God. God said, don't do that. Don't take that. Don't touch that. If you're going to walk together with God, you must agree with God. What he hates, you hate. What he loves, you love. That's agreement together. That's partnership. But Israel has sinned. And they have also transgressed my covenant which I commanded them. But they have even taken of their custody. Thing. And have also stolen and dissembled also. And they have put it even among their own stuff. Therefore, the children of Israel could not stand before their enemies, but turned their backs before their enemies, because they were a cause. Neither, 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 neither will I be with you any more, except ye destroy their cursed sin from you. Connection with God is not cheap. Partnership with God is not cheap. God is not saying, all right, whatever you want to do, whatever you want to drink, whatever you want to smoke, and whatever cult you want to join, and whatever fornication you want to commit, and whatever evil you want to do, go ahead and sit in partnership with you. Never, never, never. If God is going to remain in partnership with us, He says, I hate this, hate it too. I don't want this, you must not want it too. The Lord said in the verse 12, He said, I will not be with you anymore except you hate what I hate, you love what I love, and you destroy that a constant sin away from you. We agree with God. I said we agree with God. Where are you? I said we agree with God. How many people just want to continue sinning, sinning, sinning that grace me about? Anybody there? No. I want to live right on the grace of God. And the blood of Jesus tries to wash us and cleanse us so that by the grace of God, every day, every step, we remain in partnership with the Lord in Jesus' name. I need the earlier amen you give me. Now, where are you? Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. What does it mean then if you're going to be in partnership with God? Number one, forsake all your sins. Forsake all your sins. That's what it means to come into partnership with God. We say, that is sinful. I run away from it. That is evil. I run away from it. That's how to keep the partnership with God. Forsake all your sins. Number two, follow the Savior. Follow the Savior. Everything Christ would do, that's what you will do. That's partnership with God. You ask yourself every moment, any little thing you want to do, what will Jesus do? Any association you want to join, what will Jesus do? Anything anybody is inviting you to, what will Jesus do? Number one, forsake all your sins. Number two, follow the Savior. Number three, fellowship with the saints. Fellowship with the saints. The children of God are called saints. The believers are called saints. 
the people who have been born again, children of God, who are living the life of the new creature, their call says, fellowship of the saints. What's number one? What's number two? You're doing great. You're doing great. What a great class you are today. And what's number three? Fellowship of the saints. Number four, feed on the scripture. Feed on the scripture. Feed. Feed. Even feast on the scripture. That is, you take your Bible every morning. That's how to keep a fellowship with God. And, and you read that word. Because man shall not live by bread alone. But by every word that proceeded forth. Out of the mouth of God shall man live. Feed on the scripture. Number five. Fear not the sinners. Fear not the sinners. Fear not the sinners. And you know some people, they come to a such a great gathering like this. They take decision. They're going to follow the Lord. And then when they get over there, even at the gate, maybe one of the sinners that they knew before come and say, Where did you go? And then your heart is beating like this and beating like this. And then he says, hey, did you hear about being born again there? Holiness and question there. And now you don't want to do the thing we're doing together. But hey, if you tell me that, I will deal with you. And then you begin to fear. If you're going to remain in fellowship and partnership with the Lord, fear not the sinners. I will not fear. I said I will not fear. You know, fear will make you a slave. You'll be their slave for the rest of your life. If you, you know, every little thing, stand up there. Where are you going? What are you holding in your hand? Are you reading Bible? If I see you again reading Bible, are you going to that place they call fellowship? If I see you again, and then you begin to fear. Fear will make you their slave. I will not be any sinner's slave. I said I will not be any sinner's slave. Hey, look at the boy himself. His head is not cold. His life is not alright. His life is upside down. He's a never do well fellow. And then me to fear. He never do, he, he never do well person. I will not fear. I said I will not fear. If he asks me where am I come, of course I'm coming from fellowship. I begin to witness to him. I say, you know, you must repent of your sin. I've repented of my sin. I'm on my way to heaven. I'm happy. I'm joyful. I'm celebrating. There is joy in my soul and peace in my heart. It's all over me in my head, in my mind, in my body, in my feet. And I'm even wanting to dance for Jesus now. When I begin to tell him that, he says, hey, 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 keep it yourself. You will run away. They will run away from you in Jesus' name. Fear not the sinners. You will not fear. I said you will not fear. And then, and then, be filled with the Spirit. Be filled with the Spirit. When you're, when you're filled with the Spirit, and you're overflowing in the Spirit, overflowing in the Spirit, that partnership of the Lord will be there every time. Every time. And then, number seven, be faithful, be faithful with your Spirit. With your, from the depth of your Spirit, from the depth of your soul, you are faithful. Your faithfulness is not superficial on the surface. It's not hanging in the air. It's very deep in your soul. And very deep in your spirit. You are faithful with your spirit. Partnership with the Lord. You'll be in partnership. I said you'll be in partnership. I said you'll be in partnership. Isaiah chapter 41. Isaiah 41. I'm reading from verse 10. Fear not thou. Fear thou not. For I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. I will strengthen thee. 
yea, I will help thee. That's what a partner does, and that's what partnership with the Lord will do. He says, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right turn of my righteousness. The Lord will uphold you in Jesus' name. What's point number three now? Point number three, protection by the dream giver. You are protected already. I said you are protected already. In Joshua chapter 1, Joshua chapter 1, Joshua chapter 1. Wonderful, wonderful verse of scripture that we're going to read. In Joshua chapter 1, I'm looking at here from verse 3. Every place the sole of your foot shall tread upon that have I given unto you, as I said unto Moses. You didn't say the amen I wanted. I'm going to read that. It, it, it's so sweet. It's so nice. It's so nourishing. And it's so protecting. See what God is telling you. As you are moving on. It says, Every place that the soul of your foot shall tread upon, that have I given unto you. Any class you reach, you lead that class. Any school you go, you will lead that school. Every work you do, you will be a champion in that place in Jesus' name. Verse 5. There shall not any man be able to stand before thee. All the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. I will not fail thee. I will not fail thee. I will not fail thee. No forsake thee. No problem anymore. Everybody say no problem. Victory has come. Protection has come. Preservation has come. What kind of protection is God promising us? Number one, He'll protect you in all places. Places. He'll protect you in all places. Give me a good amen. amen. Number two, He'll protect you from all evil people. People. Give me a good amen. amen. From every, from all evil people, the Lord will protect you. Doesn't matter who they are. Doesn't matter where they're coming from. Doesn't matter what they swallowed. Doesn't matter what they have done. Doesn't matter the covenant they got into. You are protected in Jesus' name. Number three, it will protect you from principalities and powers. Principalities and powers. It doesn't matter who they are. How strong they think they are. You are protected in Jesus' name. Number four, he'll protect you from persecutors. All those persecutors, they will fail before you. They will fall before you. Number five, he'll protect you from false prophets. False prophets. Whatever they are, whoever they are, you're protected in Jesus' name. He'll protect you, number six, from predators. Predators. Those are the people that are uh, they're waiting. To swallow up the careless. They're waiting to make the careless to stumble. They're waiting to eat up everything they can have. The predators, it will protect you from all the predators in Jesus' name. Then number seven, it will protect you from plagues and pestilences. No pestilence will come near your dwelling. You are protected, soul, spirit, body, every part of you, your career, your education, everything you have, you are protected in Jesus' name. Protection, protection by the dream giver. The Lord has given you the dream. And because has given you the dream, he'll watch over you until the dream is fulfilled. You believe that? I said you believe that? Now, let me, before I finish, before I round up, let me tell you what the Lord said that He'll tell you. Are you willing to hear? 
the watch the Lord said I should tell you before you go it's in Psalm 91 and the Lord said I should give it to you and then you hold it yourself and know that this is yours this is yours anywhere you go anytime there's any challenge you come back to this thing that the Lord told me to give you and then your life will spring like a river and your river of success and your river of achievement will keep on flowing and keep on flowing and then nobody will ever be told to stop it in Jesus name he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge, He is my fortress, He is my God. In Him will I trust. Surely, 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 He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers and under His wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come near thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come near thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee. To keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands. Lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder. The young lion and the dragon shall not trample under your feet. Because he has set his love upon me. Therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high. Because he has known my name, he shall call upon me and I will answer. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him. I will honor him with, 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 with love. satisfy him I will show him my salvation rise up and praise the name of the Lord the Lord said he will be your partner he will go with you he will never leave you until you succeed he's going to hold your hand partnership with the great great dream giver open your mouth and talk to the Lord in prayer open your mouth and talk to the Lord in prayer because now this is the moment to establish and seal that partnership seal that partnership seal that partnership partnership with the great dream giver talk to the Lord talk to the Lord in prayer Talk to the Lord in prayer. Remember the promise. Remember the promise. It promises to pardon all your sins. It promises to give you peace and salvation. It promises to give you purity or sanctification. What a great promise. What a great promise. What a great promise. He gives unto you. Talk to the Lord and say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Now I can celebrate purity through sanctification. It's available. Yes, it's available. You can thank the Lord and say, Lord, I thank you for pardon. I thank you for peace. I thank you for purity. I thank you for power. Tell the Lord. Tell the Lord. 
tell the Lord and say, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, I thank you. I'm a child of God now. My sins are forgiven. Jesus died for me to take away all my sins. Tell the Lord, offer yourself completely to the Lord and say, Lord, here I am, here I am. I offer myself completely unto you. I'll never leave you too, Lord. I'm in agreement with you. I'll go with the Lord everywhere, every time. In the day, the Lord will be with me. In the night, the Lord will be with me. I live the victorious life, the holy life, the pure life, the godly life, the sanctified life. No sin, no defilement, no evil, no compromise. Tell the Lord that everywhere, everywhere, every place, every step you take, it will be a step of righteousness, a step of godliness, a step of holiness unto the Lord. Purity through sanctification. And the power of the Spirit upon your life. And protection from every evil spirit. What He promised, He has given us. What He promised, He has given us. Then he says there's promotion and success and there's possession of his sufficiency. Progress as we move on to the summit. Talk to the Lord and say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. And remain clean under the cleansing blood of the Lamb. Partnership now. Get connected with the Almighty. Get connected with the Almighty. Forsake all your sins. Don't allow any sin to remain. No sin. No evil. No gambling again. No occultism again. No lawlessness again. No iniquity again. Tell the Lord, tell the Lord, tell the Lord, no addiction anymore. No half-heartedness, all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, you're following after the Lord. You're worshipping, you praise Him. Strike a covenant with the Lord. And say, I'm going to keep on serving the Lord for the rest of my life. Partnership, 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 connection, connection with the Almighty. Partnership. Follow the Savior. Follow the first steps of the Savior. And fellowship with the saints. Fellowship with the saints. Tomorrow, Sunday, pick your Bible, go early to church. And be excited in church and listen to the word of God and pray, pray, pray in the church and reaffirm the connection, the covenant, the partnership with the Lord again. Remember the Lord's day, keep it holy. Fellowship with the saints, feed on the scriptures. You wake up every morning, you pick up your Bible. And you read that Bible, you meditate on that Bible, you apply that Bible, you take in that Bible to your soul, to your spirit, to your life. And fear not the sinners, the sinners, and they want to shift you, make you shift your ground. They want to make you compromise, they want to make you forget the partnership, the covenant you have with the Lord. Whatever they do, don't see us, don't fear them, don't have anything inside them, they're empty within. You don't want to fear an empty person, empty stomach, empty heart, empty head. You don't want to do that. Be courageous in the Lord and fear not the sinners. And be faithful. Let your faithfulness arise from your soul, from your spirit. Not something superficial on the surface, but real, real, real faithfulness from the soul, from the spirit. 
and every time be filled with the Spirit. Talk to the Lord. This is the time for prayer. Time for prayer. And remember, He'll protect you. Remember, He will protect you. In all the places you go, He'll protect you. From all the evil people that may be in the community, He'll protect you. From principalities and powers, He'll protect you. Just rest and relax in the great protection, provision of the Lord. He protects. From all those persecutors, Never mind. Don't even look at their face. Don't even look at their faces. And from the false prophets, don't visit them. Don't give them any chance. From the predators that want to kind of destroy your life, from plagues and pestilences, you are protected. Just submit yourself, surrender yourself fully, completely unto the Lord. And say, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, I thank you, I bless your name. Because I know that your promise is true. Because I know the partnership is real. Because I know the protection is confirmed. Nothing to fear, nothing to worry about. Tell the Lord, submit yourself, surrender yourself to the Lord. And say, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. I'm in partnership with the Almighty God now. I will Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. I will the Holy Spirit, my director, my controller, and my comfort. Partnership to make your dreams come true. In Jesus' name we pray. Did anybody give you the dose of sleeping while I'm trying to give you the injection to rise up and climb to the mountain? In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord. I love it when you wake up. I'm going to get that amen away from you again. In Jesus' name we pray. Wonderful, wonderful boys and girls, I'm telling you now, the sky is the limit. I'm telling you now, the top of the mountain is the limit. I'm telling you now, the peak and the summit is the limit in Jesus' name. Why don't you tell the Lord, they open your mouth and say, Lord, I know from now on the sky is the limit. Open your mouth and tell the Lord, now I know, now I know, now I know the peak of the mountain, the top of the mountain, and the very top of the summit. That is where I am going. I'm hooked up, I'm linked up, I'm connected with the Almighty, and because of that connection, and because of that partnership, I know. I know, I know, I know, I'm moving on and nothing, and nothing, and nothing will be able to stop me. Why don't you tell the Lord, I say, Lord, I'll fear no evil, I'll fear no evil, I believe you. Yes, I believe you, and I know, and I know, and I know that I will not stop until I get to the top. I will not stop until I get to the peak. I will not stop until I get to the summit. I will succeed. I will succeed. I will succeed. I will make it. Nothing will stop me. Not a sinner. Not society. Not Satan. Not a spirit. Nothing will stop me. I'm going to the top. 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 I'm in partnership with the Almighty. I'm in partnership with the Almighty. And by the strength of the Lord, by the support of the Lord, by the sustenance of the Lord, by the grace of God, by the power of God, nothing. 
no sin, no sin, no sin will stop me. You tell the Lord, you tell the Lord, you tell the Lord, you tell the Lord that more grace, more grace, more grace, more power, more energy, more understanding, more wisdom will enter into you. And this that the Lord has started today will never end. That this the Lord has started today will never end. With all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, you give everything you got into making your life what your life ought to be. Because now you come into a partnership with the Almighty. Now you come, now you come, now you come into a partnership with the Almighty. And you say, I'm moving on, I'm going up, nothing will ever be able to stop me. Tell the Lord, tell the Lord, tell the Lord, tell the Lord, this is the moment for you to be able to seal that partnership and for you to be able to say yes I know I'm going up yes I know I'm going up yes I know I'm going up and nothing will ever stop me not fear, not fear, not timidity will be able to stop you. You don't have the spirit of the coward anymore. You have the spirit of the conqueror. And you are telling the Lord, Oh Lord, I'm making it. Oh Lord, I'm making it. Oh Lord, I'm making it. I'm in partnership with the Almighty God. And His strength is mine. His promises are mine. His provision is mine. And His protection is mine. Because I'm in partnership with Him, I'll go to where I need to go. I'll get to the place I need to get to and I'm going to achieve I'm going to achieve you tell the Lord, you tell the Lord, you tell the Lord something good is flowing in your life right now, something great is flowing in your life right now something irresistible is coming to your life right now the power to succeed the power to succeed the power to succeed is coming to you right now, just tell the oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord I'm ready, I'm ready to climb I'm ready to climb. I'm ready to climb. I'm ready to succeed. And I will. And I will. And I will. And I will. Tell the Lord. The time to succeed has come. Tell the Lord. This is the time. This is the time. This is the time. This is your time, your season of success, your season of celebration. The time has come. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said, We're going to pray now. I said, We're going to pray now. Are you ready? The final, final, final injection. I said, are you ready? The final, final, final injection. If you are ready, stand right. If you are ready, get ready. If you are ready, raise up those two hands. If you are ready, if you are ready, then open up and say, Lord, I'm receiving now, I'm receiving now, I'm receiving now. It's coming to you in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, a great creator, redeemer in heaven, we rejoice today. We rejoice today because there is no failure in this house now. There is no defeat in this house now. There is no coward in this house now. And Lord, we know there is no big team in this house now. Oh Lord, we thank you because there is no slave in this house now. You touch every boy, every girl. And Lord, you wake up every boy, every girl. The giant within us. The spirit that ought to conquer the champion within us as well as the angel within us. Wake up in Jesus' name. The achiever within us. The one that accomplishes within us. In our brain, the brain that is dormant. I command that dormant brain. Wake up in Jesus' name. The courage and conviction within you that is dormant, that is sleeping, that is almost dead. I give you that injection of resurrection. Wake up in Jesus' name. The desire to succeed. The desire to run. The desire to study. 
the desire to live a righteous life, the desire to be a champion, and the desire to climb to the top of the mountain and never get tired, I pass on to you now. I pass on to you now. Receive it in Jesus' name. All the aspiration that was dead, all the ambition that was dead, all the desires that were dead, and all the go-getting spirit that was dead, I send that resurrection upon you now. Wake up in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, I pray that right now the spirit will succeed. And the spirit to, to, to make sure that what you have given us as a dream is fulfilled. I pass the spirit on. 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 And the good spirit of the Lord that makes us conquerors. The good spirit of the Lord that makes us overcomers. The good spirit of the Lord that makes us victors. I pass to every one of you. You will go through life succeeding. You go through life confident. You go through life fearless and bold. You go through life courageous. You go through life and you will lead anywhere you go, any community you go. That spirit of leadership I pass unto you right now. You will lead in Jesus' name. Don't look down again, look up. Don't look back again, look forward. And I pray that as you look up, as you look forward, there will be a pool, a magnet that will draw you up. That will draw you forward. And this that the Lord has done to, today, bringing you into partnership, this great thing will never fail your life in Jesus' name. And the next time you see me, the next time I see you, you have testimonies to tell. Oh Lord, in heaven I pray that you confirm it upon every boy and every girl today. Thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said, Now, now, if you don't want me to forget you, you don't want me to forget you, the amen I will not forget that when I go back and then Sunday, tomorrow, and then next week and next month, anywhere I travel to, if you want me to keep your amen in the very center of my heart, never to forget you or forget your amen, in Jesus' name we pray.